It's not every day that Mariska Hargitay, aka Law & Order SVU's Captain Olivia Benson, swings by the district to donate one of her character's costumes to the Smithsonian. It's incredible. I was saying this morning, um, I think it's um, top five things that mean something to me because it's a marker of, of what I've done with my life and that this character has made a profound imprint on the culture. Mariska and Captain Benson's uniform, synonymous with one of America's longest running and most beloved TV shows, will be housed in the Hall of American Culture at the National Museum of American History. The exhibit celebrates its two-year anniversary this December. But did you know that everything that you see around me right here is less than 1% of what the museum holds in storage? It was this mysterious freight elevator that felt a little like riding in the Death Star that took me to the museum's epic archive where I got a rare look into entertainment history that hardly anyone ever gets to experience. Welcome to the entertainment collection. Think of any piece of pop culture or sports that has helped shape American society since the dawn of time. You can probably find it here. <laughs> Unique pairing in this drawer, this is Seinfeld's puffy shirt from the show Seinfeld, <laughs> a very memorable episode. He's next door here to his neighbor, Mr. Rogers. This is Fred Rogers' sweater from oh. Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Wow. Um, and this is one of the sweaters that was knit by his mother. You can see her tag in there, hand knit by Nancy Flagg. My chaperone for the day, the museum's entertainment collection curator, Ryan Lintelman. It's been a while since we let anyone back here. You wanna see George Foreman's shorts? Or how about George Clooney's Batman mask? Or how about this mask worn by Aaron Paul in AMC's Breaking Bad? Guys, these aren't replicas. Ryan took me through halls of items I couldn't imagine seeing in my wildest dreams. Some quick highlights for you. You ready? <gasps> Original illustrations of Mickey Mouse and Snow White, Rocky Balboa's boots, the Scarecrow's hat from The Wizard of Oz, original puppets from The Muppets and Sesame Street, the original Sweeney Todd script with Sondheim's annotations for you Broadway lovers, and Christopher Reeve's Superman costume from the 70s. Phew! Yeah, so this is a Simpsons storyboard. You guys are crazy for letting me in here, by the way. This stuff belongs to you. You know, you pay your taxes. This belongs <laughs> to the nation. Everything in this room is kept under optimal climate conditions, away from light and humidity, and there's one very important rule. Don't touch anything. I, it's been like 30 minutes and I am overwhelmed. Like how do you how do you not go crazy with all of this stuff? I'm working that we a long time us? on this yeah. and everything has its story to tell but also the time and place to tell it. That's the big takeaway here. Go this ahead. is President Bartlett's jacket from the West Wing. We have next Nuts. to it Nuts. Don Draper's hat and sunglasses from Mad Men. This is like my two favorite TV shows right and here. back here, Breaking Bad. Ryan says everything they've collected has a purpose as it pertains to American society and often explores pivotal moments in entertainment history. Mad Men, for example, explored darker themes and issues while integrating big moments from American history into the lives of its characters. All the things that that show explored are sort of unique to this period in prestige television history. The entertainment hall here at the Museum of American History is here to stay, at least, Ryan tells me, for the next 20 years. And in that time, they plan to dip into this massive archive, which is adding items like Mariska's blue blazer to its arsenal every day to switch things up constantly. The things that we do for fun every day, when we turn on a TV show, when we listen to a song, we go to a sports game, it creates community. It helps us build our identity. It helps us to understand the other people who live in the nation and the world, and to understand the conversations that are happening about social and political change across the nation. And so these are the sort of everyday things that help to shape who we are as a people who we want to be as Americans. And that's the story that we tell. And here's Bob Ross. What a way to end. I feel like we've just barely scratched the surface. You're gonna have to come back. I might just take you up on that. Here, inside an undisclosed location at the Museum of American History with Ryan. Thanks for having me out. Absolutely. I'm Matt Koufax, WTOP News. For more stories like this, download and listen to WTOP Radio on our app or tune in to 103.5 FM. Ryan, where'd you go? Don't worry, I'm still here. <laughs>